Good evening, I'm Marissa Yamani. And I'm Tom George. Navy officials today confirming a fourth water main break in central Oahu. It all comes as 93,000 residents on the Navy's waterline were already under a boil water advisory. KITV4's Kristen Concilio has more on how residents are being impacted by this latest water crisis. Navy serviceman Michael Washington's backyard was completely submerged today as water from another water main break on the Navy system made its way into his garage. Just speechless. I have no words to describe how I'm feeling right now. Just days after three water main breaks affecting 93,000 Oahu residents, a fourth water main break at the Pearl City Peninsula. We can't even let our dog out, their dog, because you don't know, you know, I mean, we can't, we're afraid to even, what are we going to do? I'm, I'm wondering if I should start packing. <laughs> we don't know because the water still come, coming and there's a big old like puddle in the back. When KITV4 arrived on scene, there was no help for families in shock as a river of brown water created pools in the front and back of their homes. Well, this situation is tragic. It's causing stress, a lot of mental anxiety for people. The latest break came as a surprise to Captain Mark Sohaney, commander of Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. He received the news on his way to speak with the media about the three water main breaks that happened on Friday. I've got my team on site right now. Uh, we're isolating that valve. Uh, we've got a uh, the best uh, experts uh, on site. We're going to make an assessment. Uh, and then from that assessment, we'll figure out a way forward. The series of water main breaks is expected to take up to 10 days to fix, pushing back the planned defueling of Red Hill. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.